So this video again is going to be one of those ones where I talk about not all instruments being created equal and that really is the case. So, you know, going through dental school, I was shown a curette and, you know, to me there was one curette and that's what you used and it worked okay, but I was never really amazed by it. It seemed like it took a lot more effort than it should to remove you know, all the granulation tissue or cysts or whatever that you're kind of cleaning out from a, a site that you extracted a tooth. This guy here is a terrific addition to your collection if you don't have one, and it's a serrated curette. So again, it's a little bit more aggressive, I guess, is the thing. Um, terrific for lower third molar sites. So you can actually take this you get in sort of right distal to that second molar once the tooth is out, give it a scoop up, and you'll find that you're going to be able to peel the tissue off. That, that follicle is going to peel away a lot easier than with just your traditional sort of flat curette. Now, when you're doing just extraction, say you take out an upper first molar, um, you may not want to use these. I mean, you can. I found it's pretty aggressive, so it really it grabs the bone and it really kind of pulls at it. So if you're if you don't have like a a tightly bound bit of tissue or some sort of pathology to scrape out, I'd probably stick with your regular curette. But again, um, if you've got like a big radiolucency around a tooth and you've removed it, and you need to really clean out that socket. Uh, this tool is terrific. So check it out. Um, this one again. This is by Carl Schumacher BCU. 711S is the code here if you want to get one of those. Again, I'm sure there's other companies that make it, so you could always check around online and um, find something similar. But certainly a great tool, something that I've added into my collection, and uh, I couldn't go without it.